So I kind of just wanted to go through some of the brushes I got because I got a lot of brushes this time around. So last time I just got a brush that looked kind of similar to this but fluffier because it was a like blending eye brush. This is a concealer brush. Then I got a trio of Farrah brushes which I'm pretty sure are face brushes. Let me open them and see if they say. I've never had, like, the only brushes I've ever had are um, Real Techniques, which aren't bad, but they're also, like, you know, they're not fancy by any means. I think you can, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I have a just fluffy straight brush. I'm going to have to wind up looking into all these and to like what they do. I don't know how to do it. Though, so. um, I have a stippling brush. And I have a cheeky end brush. You know, they look black, but then when you look really close, they look blue. Which I think is pretty cool. And they're so, so soft. Like, oh my goodness. They seem to be like pretty amazing brushes. I figured out. Though. I'm not as stupid as I look, I promise. So, these are some beautiful brushes. I love the way they feel. Um, I kind of hope they still fit in the little thing I have because I like the little thing I have. Because you can actually turn it into a stand and have your all your brushes there. So, Okay, so these were, I think, um, part of the flash sale. And I think they were $8 per set. And there's a cheek set and an eye set in here. So the first one is was supposed to be a highlight, I think. It says Pro Precision Tapered. Does that look like it's supposed to be a highlight brush? Because, I mean, I'm used to, like, highlight brushes seeming, like, a lot thinner like almost like that does that make sense but at the same time like it does get kind of thin up there and I remember it being like a highlight and contour set so it's so fluffy and just soft So this would be the uh, contour brush. Yeah. This is also like, it feels so velvety and beautiful. I know I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, but man, I'm actually gonna put this back on here by the way all the brushes in a nice little shape so next is a eye duo so these brushes it was a luxie um pro precision tapered brush which was supposed to be the highlight and then a realer um contour brush it says be the change um these brushes were Farah. This one was, oh, bow something. Let's see that. Maybe someone recognizes the logo even though they can't read it. Okay, so then I've got 
two little um, eye brushes. There is an Araceli one that is more of a, like, it's stiffer. But it's a blending brush. And then this one does not say exactly what it is. I don't think. No, it says blending as well. But it's a bigger brush. Honestly, I think I added to my other one a more precision one. Because I used to have like a really, really little one. But I don't know what happened to it. Oh, and this one was... Oh, right. I already talked about that. <laughs> oh, and it's easier to read what it says on that side. Well, it's the same side, but I mean on that part of that side. And that's a really, really stiff, um, like it goes right back into shape to really get in there. Oh no, like one, I definitely think all these brushes were worth the like 16 or, I think it might have actually only been 10, but the 10, 15 dollars I spent on them. I think I spent 40 dollars altogether for my set of Real tech Technique brushes, and I only have, like, I have one small set that was a face set, and then some, you know what, I'll get them out, give me one second. So something I didn't realize about this is that it actually has, I did not know that. So it's definitely like, it, it was a highlighter stick, um, this Jolie product. Bronzer palette. Rose water primer. So I'll have to probably pass that on somewhere. The Ipsy and um Betty Boop palette and then we've got the foundation brush the blush brush and the highlighter or blonde bronzer brush for the fair up brushes I don't think one of these was in the small one though Pretty sure there wasn't. I see not. So, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, what brush was this? What brush is missing a thing? This one's missing a thing. So my brushes that I have, I have these Real Technique. This one is technically a set. It, I think it costs three, twenty dollars for these three brushes, which is a buffing brush, a contour brush, and a foundation brush. And this is the copper series, which were a little bit more expensive than these. Now, I the set of these, I believe, I had a different foundation brush. I think I had another one similar to this. And I had an itty bitty eye brush. Um, this is the duo fa uh, fiber face brush. And it 
I think also cost $20 or $18, one of the two. But the reason I keep one, it's nice to have like a little carrying case. But the thing I like about it is that you can use this to kind of close it a little bit and it stands up and makes a little brush stand for when you're doing your makeup. Which is a uh, kind of nice to have. But so those are the brushes that I had. And this is just a Urban Decay brush from my uh, night something palette. Anyway, was there anything else I wanted to say? I don't think so. No, I I don't think I did. So It almost seems like there's too much stuff over there. But there's not thing but I like that they actually included that little explanation of everything I wish they still had that because it'd be nice to have like my other box didn't have an explanation of things I don't think it just had like a little card I believe so thank you guys so much have a wonderful day and I will see you guys again soon